Let me tell you a little bit about my personal journey to Silicon Valley from India 22 years ago. Growing up in India, like many of you, I got my first telephone when I was 12. In my case, it turned out to be a rotary phone, so it wasn't that great for selfies, but I still love to call my friends, play with it, and sometimes take it apart. That telephone cemented my fascination with technology. I remember in my parents' house in Chennai, reading about the invention of the transistor at Bell Labs. Of course, that initial invention helped found what became known as Silicon Valley, and out of that came companies like Fatchild Semiconductor and Intel, and all the computers and software that we all use today. You can draw a direct line from that invention to the technology that powers your Twitter feed or your WeChat messages today. A lot of times when I was younger, you know, people would say, you know, this person didn't get into this college or something, and that's the end of the road. I mean, life is so different from that. And so I think it's important to, you know, uh, keep your hopes, keep your, keep your dreams, and try to follow them. And, you know, I think, I think most of how life plays out is up to you, not up to, uh, up to what happens uh, outside of you. And I think it's important to keep that in mind and take the long-term view. I still vividly remember as a teenager jumping onto a crowded train at Chennai and traveling for 24 hours to attend my school at IIT Kharagpur. And that opportunity changed the course of my life. You want to aim high enough that you fail, uh, you know, a few times. I think that's the natural part of the process. Uh, in fact, you know, Larry used to say, if you work on really difficult things, you're better off because you have no competition. Others aren't working on uh, yeah. that difficult yeah. a problem. And even if you fail, you end up doing something great in the sure. process. I think, you know, working the real world, I would say, you know, it is important to be well-rounded. It's important to, uh, you know, try different things, I, uh, you know, take some risks. Uh, you know, I would encourage people to, uh, you know, follow their passions a little bit more, to follow set lanes uh, throughout your uh, career. Getting into an elite institution doesn't guarantee success. Uh, it matters a lot, but it doesn't guarantee success. And uh, you know, I think I think that's, it's important to keep that perspective in life. And uh, you know, life is a long road, yeah. and uh, you know, so you want to you want to take it at the right pace and enjoy what you're doing. I know how much hard work it takes to pursue your dream of building a business. The long hours, time away from family, the ideas you know are brilliant that just don't seem to catch on. I remember reading about that and thinking, it's the idea that matters. It didn't matter where you come from or what your background is. One revolutionary idea, one brilliant invention can unleash other entrepreneurs to revolutionize industries in ways you could never predict.